Hello everyone and now welcome to game two in the series between Tho versus Fangxi here on Amazonia. So far game two um, looking really really good already as yes Tho is once again playing undead and because there are no observers I am once again forced to turn off fog of war. You can see Tho spawning as the purple undead player here on the bottom left hand side of the map. He is the white on the map. Meanwhile, we have Fangxi spawning as the red night elf on the top right hand side of the map, and this time going for a much more traditional ancient of war next to some creep camps, hoping to get that demon hunter some extra experience. Now, it really feels like the, the metagame has shifted where normally Tho does like to play human against um, human against night elf but he doesn't like that matchup any longer so it looks like he wants to go undead against night elf and this would be one of the few professional players out there that actively changes races depending on the matchup he doesn't like the human versus human mirror match he doesn't so he chooses night elf and apparently he doesn't like his games um human versus night elf so he then goes for undead a little bit unorthodox but it does take a lot of strategy and a lot of patience to be able to do exactly what um what exactly tho is doing here playing multiple races at a very very high level as we're now looking at a death knight making its way out in addition to a demon hunter ancient of war will be training up and it's going to be up to the death knight of tho to try and shut down that demon hunter making sure that he cannot creep that efficiently you can see that the ghouls are still being trained and this is what tho wants to do he wants to get that death knight out and he wants to get a whole bunch of ghouls once he has all of those ghouls in play with unholy aura it's going to be very easy for him to take down archers especially with uh, the dust of appearance being available from your own shop that does open things up very very well for your particular strategy we are now looking down over here you can see that the ghouls are already going after that renegade wizard you can see unholy aura no death coil being chosen instead instead of unholy aura so a little bit of a of a miscalculation there perhaps or perhaps he just wanted to get that out that much faster oh it looks like oh so close that ghoul could have been taken down has to be extremely careful it looks like that ghoul is not taking any damage meanwhile tome of intelligence was picked up and read level two now on the death knight leaving this last rogue here all right the death knight already on the move with unholy unholy aura you can see back over here as well and we are still taking a little bit of damage from the creeps but the ghouls they're just going to stay on blight and regenerate those hit points rather quickly you can see however one apprentice wizard no it looks like he decides not to continue that pressure as the death knight still wandering around very very fast play by that death knight in order to get to level two really calculated everything out meanwhile the demon hunter feng shi was able to get to level two as well as the death knight now perhaps using the rada necromancy charge to try and get some extra skeletal minions all right one moonwell is currently being constructed why well, i don't know why it isn't getting attacked that would be the perfect spot for it as there is also a wisp in the back here getting attacked ghouls now making their way out across the map the demon hunter going after the troll berserker and the troll creep camp here this is not going to be good as you can see i believe the skeletal minion was it taken down not 100 sure the death knight looks as though um, it looks like the, the Wisp just d did a detonation instead, and there is a Death Coil to take down another Wisp. All right, more Skeletal Minions making their way in to join in on the fight. You can see that the Archers, could they, could they in fact Shadow Meld? Yes, they can. There is absolutely no Dust of Appearance on that Death Knight, so the Archers could easily just Shadow Meld here. The problem is, um, the problem is the ghoul army can just stay nearby continuing that pressure while the death knight goes to the nearest local shop to buy some all right you can see that there are two archers here all hiding all shadow meld in the middle of the forest and those archers are just going to be sitting right there for quite some time it looks as like though the death knight does realize what well, there you go the archer is now trying to back away once more the skeletal minions and it looks like though the skeletal minion will get taken down there it goes as the archers are now getting pressured there is a mana burn as the demon hunter and the death knight going back and forth a nice boots of speed run away by that demon hunter at least outrunning that death knight for a little while longer 
All right, it looks as though, wow, Feng Shi playing very well, getting off another ghoul kill there, fighting inside the base. Very, very important. Going to pick up some items nicely done, getting a little bit more health once more as the Demon Hunter now tries to just clear out his base here. The Ancient of War is not inside the base. That is why the ghouls are able to run inside, and that's what he did differently in game one. All that, right, the archer is now running all the way to the very, very far back, trying to hide. You can see that the Dust of Appearance was used. One archer goes down, two archers go down as the one particular low hit point ghoul going after some wisp here and is it gonna work out you can see that the demon hunter still fighting by his lonesome self does have a little bit of a moon well trying to get to yes gets the shot off there as the ghouls are still chasing around here all right you can see that the tree of ages also joining in on that fight and oh this demon hunter wants this last ghoul it is now down to 83 hit points 52 um it looks like it will get taken down very very easily but not before the demon hunter runs very far to even get there that archer now um, in a little bit of trouble there as the ghouls are now all backing away the death knight now down to zero, pretty much zero mana as the panda now joins in on the fight the panda could easily get a breath of fire but nope delayed a little bit too long i do believe some damage was dealt as now we're going into a naga sea witch Oh, the panda. This panda is in trouble. Does it have boots of speed? There's a breath of fire. It did stop there as the ghoul is now blocking him and pathing him. It looks as though the panda is still trying to get away down to 486 hit points. Looks like he will be able to get home, but not before taking a fair amount of damage as the demon hunter now comes in. And there goes a mana burn. A full 100 mana mana burn onto that Naga Sea, which I do not believe that Tho was expecting that Demon Hunter to be level 3 already. That is a huge, huge double mana burn, already down to 73 mana, as the Panda is now pushing back across the map. This is potentially game-changing, as the Demon Hunter is extremely fast. The Wisp now trying to get in front. It looks like the Wisp will get in front of that Naga Sea Witch ever so slightly. And there's the Pathian. Is the Scroll of Town Portal going to get transferred? There's the mana burn. And wow, the Naga Sea Witch at level 1 gets taken down as the death knight now tries to retreat back home beautifully played beautifully done by uh fang shi here as he is now perhaps gonna find an opportunity to do a little bit of creeping ancient of war off to the side we need to get some wisp here pronto in order to save this one ancient of war that ancient of war taking a lot of damage more than it should be right now as a wisp does get taken out all right you can see another boulder to the head that archer taking a lot of damage wand of mana stealing beautifully placed on the panda for more breath of fire naga sea which is back since it was only a level one hero level one heroes do resurrect fairly quickly as we are now looking at the death knight running back perhaps heading to the shop and looking to get to level three now is this panda gonna get to level two uh, level two really doesn't help all that much it's really when a hero hits level three that it does deal a lot more damage we're now looking at the renegade wizard creep camp there is a purge onto the demon hunter and what is going on is just trying to pull the units back here as we're now looking at a little bit of nope just pulling back over here as well both sides looking to fight both sides looking to engage as we are going to get level two on this panda in just a moment mana burn there on that renegade wizard there's level two tome of intelligence plus two given to the panda as it wants more mana for breath of fire demon hunter doesn't really need that much extra mana anyways vampiric aura on to that demon hunter so he's going to be um, regenerating a little bit more health per attack i don't know if it's really that much of a difference to um to make like perhaps make that many big changes or big plays around it but every swipe will end up healing him three damage i believe which gives him about three to five hit point regeneration a second while in battle that is definitely going to be helpful as the demon hunter now looks to perhaps creep out another creep camp by his lonesome self if he's able to do that then he's going to be in a very very nice position with level two evasion all right death knight still seen at level one or level two naga sea which still seen at level one lich has just joined in on the fight as well as the demon hunter is looking for the rest of this undead army ancient of war is right off over here death knight is now still creeping as the demon hunter is just making its rounds this is not a good play for that demon hunter the demon hunter should be doing something much more effective and oh wow runs into a frost nova frost arrow death coil that was just a rude rude wake up call there as the panda is now looking to get to level three level three on that panda will mean level two breath of fire that could be a potentially game-changing 
um, ability right there as the Demon Hunter is looking to perhaps get off another mana burn onto that Lich. Are we going to see that? Yes, the Lich now takes some mana burn damage as the Lich is now trying to run away. Are we going to perhaps see uh, any more damage dealt there as we are still chasing? There is another mana burn. There's a Death Coil, Frost Arrow, and still more attacking. There's the Rejuvenation as the, the fight is ready to go. Drew to the Claw, that one Demon Hunter is in a little bit of a dangerous situation. Is that bear going to get saved? It looks as though there is a Destroyer in the air. And that destroyer could easily just turn around and just devour magic as the demon hunter is trying to catch up. All right, there's some more attack. The druid of the claw has to be extremely careful with the magic attack of the destroyer and the minus five armor debuff of the orb of corruption. All right, demon hunter is in position here. There's a mana burn onto the death knight. There's a breath of fire taking down one ghoul. All right, demon hunter. Oh, scroll of town portal just in time. But where is it going to go? Is it just going to try to teleport to the back here? And now that Demon Hunter, oh, does get healed back up. All right, let's see. Take a look. Oh, beautiful Staff of Preservation to save that, um, save the missile attack. I can't believe I saw that there as the Naga Sea Witch now backs away. All right, the Orb of Venom, that Demon Hunter, so far somehow able to stay alive and ever so often, ever so barely just teleporting all across the map. Are we going to get perhaps some more damage coming in once more? That Demon Hunter does move very, very quickly across the map now. With, that, with those boots of speed, cannot get off a hit on the, with that orb of venom though. And now all the units are backing off here. Perhaps a rejuvenation is going to be necessary. Um, rejuvenation onto that demon hunter. And oh, what is this? That druid of the claw is relatively low. There is a mana burn onto an illusion. Nothing really useful there as we see an archer getting taken down by his own brethren. All right, you don't want to pay your taxes. Go ahead and kill, <laughs> kill one of your own guys so that you don't have to pay them anymore. So far, they we're looking at the roar there. We are looking at the Demon Hunter coming in as well. There is that rejuvenation getting up a lot of... Um, getting up all of those hit points as necessary. Replenishment Potion has been left behind. Going to get picked up by the Panda, who needs a little bit more mana anyways. Death Knight now making its way in as well. It looks as though the Demon Hunter may get off another mana burn somewhere. Oh, what is that doing? It just runs straight into the fight there. And it needs to get Staff of Preservation out in a hurry. Oh my goodness, taking so much damage. And Staff of Preservation saves it ever so barely. And the Lich goes down. Oh my goodness, uh, I can't believe Fangxi is getting this lucky in this fight. Staff of Teleportation for that Demon Hunter to come back in. He is relatively low on hit points, but he is going to be able to get off another mana burn there. There is a Naga Sea Witch. The D Demon Hunter now trying to come back in. Is Yes, it does take it down as well, and this has just been a one-side landslide in terms of um, in terms of momentum, really everything is going in right in favor of Fang Shi, and everything is going in wrong in wrong for Tho, meaning that that Demon Hunter is at sitting at level four, Panda sitting at level four, and he can also still be really aggressive in the middle of this creep camp. All right, there you go. You can see both sides are fighting off over here. The Dryad, you can see the bears are currently ensnared. That is not looking good. The Death Knight trying to fight in this a uh, two-on-one hero battle, as we're going to be looking at a couple. Of the Druids of the Claw now getting taken down. All right, let's take a look. There is a bash there. Are we going to see the old oh, Manual of Health getting picked up? A potion of greater healing onto that Demon Hunter. Staff of Preservation not in time to save the bear. But it looks as though a couple of Crypt Fiends may fall as well. One Crypt Fiend. Oh, is it going to get taken down? There goes one Crypt Fiend. Another Crypt Fiend may get taken down as well. There goes another one. So one bear for two Crypt Fiends. A fairly even trade as now all the units are backing off again. Panda sitting at level 4. Demon Hunter sitting at level 4. We may finish up this Creep Camp very, very easy to do so. As we are now looking at an expansion here at the 12 o'clock position. Constant fighting. Constant positioning. And really... Um, Fang Shi just getting that split second break every time any of those fights if they were wrong for by about a half a second would have resulted in a victory for Tho but it looks as all the cards are in play and looking very very strong you can see that the panda is nearby there is another bear there oh gets taken down as we are now fighting this way through all right, that's going to be happening next. There's a quick roar rejuvenation on the Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter going to get a little bit more hit points as well. Renegade Wizard, the Panda, is already sitting, uh, sitting at 4. Both of them are sitting at 4. And both of them should be getting to 5 momentarily. Double Ancients of Lore in the back. Supply count, I got to believe, somewhere around 48, 
47 to 50 right about now with those dryads still being trained we may be sitting at exactly 50 as we're now going after the granite and rock golems this is a huge huge play the granite and rock golems they do give very very strong items also they cannot be stolen by the death coil as now we are looking at a fight coming in here all right dryads now coming back around there's a quick quick death of a bear is the bear gonna get saved it looks like it no it oh my gosh why isn't that bear getting attacked i do not know that bear finally gets taken down as the demon hunter is still racing its way forward all right, bear after bear is going to get down. There goes another one. Demon Hunter trying to take down a Naga Sea, which another mana burn should do it. Is it going to work at all? Oh, that Demon Hunter catch, trying to catch up to the Naga Sea, which Naga Sea, which there it goes. Down it goes. Level five now on the Demon Hunter as the Dryads are coming in to get in more damage. There you go. The Demon Hunter still very strong here with a potion of healing and a potion of, a potion of replenishment. Are we going to see a mana burn onto the Lich? There's a re revelation or reveal there as there goes one of those wards down goes that ward oh the reveal ended just too soon and that ward is still in position there all right the dryads now hoping to finish off what they started the rock golems are regenerating hit points alongside um, the granite golem and there you have it that granite golem regenerating relatively quickly demon hunter did end up selling that vampiric aura remember as we're now looking at one granite golem gonna get taken down panda looks like he will get to level five staff of teleportation should be bringing in that demon hunter once more but only after the other units are there oh who picked up the item did the panda pick up the item yes it is a robe of magi huge huge item there as we're looking at for that demon hunter demon hunter now pushing their way through we can see that the panda is still sitting at level five. Oh, the panda is low on hit points the panda gets taken down and there it goes a little bit of un unluckiness for feng shi this time around as we are looking at the demon hunter continuing this fight so far the demon hunter trying to go after that death knight rejuvenation still onto that demon hunter there goes the uh frost worm as the death knight down to 103 hit points are we going to perhaps see another mana burn or something happen here that demon hunter is just an absolute one-man wrecking crew and dealing so much damage almost up to level six in fact as it still has a potion of greater healing all right there is a potion of greater healing there there's a mana burn but i don't believe any mana was really burned off of that there as the demon hunter still makes its way forward the dryads with that slow poison uh, slowing down the rest of those crypt fiends all right the panda uh, still being resurrected the demon hunter now looks to perhaps come in here and make a bit of a scene is it going to even try to go after the destroyer could be able to do that very easily since the since the demon hunter is ranged against air units you can see there is the roar so much damage coming in from that demon hunter 31 plus 18 49 damage minimum from that demon hunter add in that orb of venom and that damage does really stack over time Obsidian statue now coming in for an engagement. There's a mana burn onto the Naga Sea Witch. Naga Sea Witch takes uh, pretty much out of mana once again. The Demon Hunter is trying to push forward. There goes a uh, Obsidian statue rather quickly as the Abomination is now trying to join in. All right, Demon Hunter, is it going to use the Scroll Town Portal? Yes, it does. Trying to um, do anything and everything that it can. It looks as though yes, the Demon Hunter will be heading back home. Um, it needs to get some more Moon Juice from those Moon Wells. Gets um, all of them anti-magic potion what is it doing is it staff of teleportation over to the tree of life and now trying to save it here that demon hunter by his lonesome all right what's going to be happening next that demon hunter is going to be going into metamorphosis so so strong and that causes everyone to just try and run away superman right there um needs just to be a little bit of splash of blue and that superman is just so so deadly there you have it orb of um what, what is that like chaos damage orb plus on top of that po damage over time that is a lot of damage you can see that that a crypt fiend is pretty much um, pretty much going to be gone here we are now running low on the gold mines as both sides are now looking to take expansions 20 minutes or 19 minutes into this game so far you the bears are now in full retreat the metamorphosis um, demon hunter still getting in some easy shots here is it going to perhaps take down an abomination there's a frost nova but that's not going to really amount to much at all as the abomination down to 300 200 100 and 30 two, what two hit points there it goes it gets taken down as we are still fighting here that one particular metamorphous demon hunter now looks to back away realizes that it cannot stay and now that that metamorphosis is done the army can try and come up with a counterattack. all right demon hunter 
looking to come in again gets a huge mana burn off onto that lich once again will not be able to cast a frost nova coming back around the panda is back on on the field does have a potion of mana and with that potion of mana breath of fire should be incoming naga sea witch has not been resurrected yet uh, nope spoke too soon naga sea witch now has been resurrected and will be joining the rest of that undead army as the undead now trying to creep out the granite and rock golems Meanwhile, back over here, you can see that the Wisp are joining in on this Tree of Life in this Entangled Gold Mine. This Gold Mine has a minute of gold left. Same thing with down over here on the bottom left. And if Tho is not careful, he'll be playing up against one basis to zero. And that is not a favorable position at all. All right, Rock Golem. Um, immune to magic damage even though they have heavy armor this one particular frost room unable to do anything naga sea witch nope uh death knight picks it up as we are getting a crystal ball that's most likely just going to be sold after being used 250 gold so so nice and the demon hunter now makes its way here to the forest trolls at the goblin merchant shop pretty much all of the creep camps have been creeped out um maybe perhaps one or two um one or two creep camps still available on the map or partially creeped out and we are now looking at this dryad bear army demon hunter sitting at level six panda sitting at level five massive attack now coming in at the 12 o'clock position but that will get pushed back as the dryads bears demon hunter and panda land on top of that party Frostworm, Lich, Obsidian Statue, Acolytes, no more gold in the gold mine. Needs to haunt another gold mine here, but there is a Wisp already there and ready to go. You can see what will be happening next as we are looking at perhaps the Crypt Fiends now making their way down. All right, let's take a look at it. The Lich taking a bit of damage here we're taking also taking a look at acolytes now making their move in and that is going to be a bit of damage we can see that the frost worm did um, was in fact healed there as the demon hunter still battling it up there's metam no no metamorphosis not quite yet not quite sure why um, this would be a perfect opportunity to do so as he is now fighting up against a rather large army. All right, let, take a look at it. Yes, the Frost Worm does go down. That will need to be replaced. Bear going to get taken down. No Staff of Preservation incoming to save it this time around as the Demon Hunter goes from the front line melee hero to the back line chaos damage. Um, damage hero there. You can see, oh, so much damage to be had down to so low on hit points. And no, there is the anti-magic shell beautifully done and beautifully played as the demon hunter is just coming in to get shots off and shots off onto all of the heroes. All right, one crypt fiend gets taken down. Another crypt fiend gets taken down. And there's the GG. Fang Shi takes game two to even up the series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.